one more episode in season one to go, people. And let me just say, spoiler alert, it did not disappoint. Well, it kind of did, but that's for my own selfish reasons. Let's get into it. So the episode starts off with Ashlyn wondering which broom closet that EJ has Ricky tied up in. Can't really blame her for being a little suspicious here. I mean, if you walked in and saw EJ sitting there in Troy's jersey, what would be your first thought? I'll tell you what mine would be. Where's the dead body, EJ? You know what? Don't even bother answering that. The cops are on their way. But since EJ is now Troy, someone has to play Chad. And that's where Carlos comes in. Oh boy. <laughs> This is gonna be good. So now we get to see a little one-on-one -on -one with Gina and Nini. And Nini ends up asking Gina how to handle trying to put on the show of her life while someone of such importance is watching her. Nini, listen, you're a great actor. So just act like someone who knows what she's doing. Just act like someone that knows what they're doing. You know, I was gonna make fun of you here at first, but then I thought about it. That's actually some really sound advice, specifically for a good actress like Nini. I mean, look, think about it, right? Even if you don't know what you're doing, if you're good enough at acting like you know what you're doing, then nobody's gonna know that you don't know what you're doing. Just don't get caught, because then you're gonna look really dumb for acting like you know what you're doing when you don't know what you're doing. So, you know, it, it, it really is just a lot simpler to just know what you're doing. I do really love how this scene ended with a hug, though. Really starting to root for this friendship slowly but surely. I have more important ships on my mind at the moment, though, so uh, this can wait. So it turns out that Ashlyn wasn't the only one confused about EJ being Troy now. Literally everyone else was, too. This includes Nini. I don't know why EJ didn't make sure to tell everyone about this before going out to do this act. I mean, he had time to sit down and look over his lines. He couldn't at least try to find Nini and tell her that he's going to be playing Troy now. I mean, I guess I'm glad he didn't. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to see this look on Nini's face. Worth it. I gotta be honest though, I gotta give Nini a little bit of flack here for her lack of professionalism. Like, okay, I get it. This completely threw you for a loop. I get it. But have you ever heard the phrase, the show must go on? Apparently not. I guess you'd rather just run off stage at the first sign of trouble. Hey Dean, you getting all this? But you know, it's all good though. Because our girl Ashlyn is here to save the day and sing my personal favorite song from this show so far. I don't have the answers, not today. It's like nothing makes the questions go away. There you are. I lied. We only get to see her perform part of the song because apparently we have to go check up on Ricky now for some fucking reason. Like, why? Why? I get you're upset, Ricky. I'm sorry for you, Ricky. Life sucks sometimes, Ricky. I like you, Ricky. Now go away, Ricky. I want to see Ashlyn perform my favorite song on the show now, okay? We can get back to your mommy-daddy drama some other time. But before I move on any further, can we just talk about how amazing it was to see Big Red's face light up? as Ashlyn was performing. You know, I could tell you what he was thinking right here, but do I need to? His face said it all. No further explanation needed. Okay, so now back to Ricky and his bullshit. So Ricky explains to his mom why he wasn't out there on stage. Because he had to do what was right for his future wifey. Or so he thinks. And then he just goes off on her about bringing her boyfriend to the show. And her excuse or reasoning was she wanted Todd to meet Ricky. And get this. She didn't say anything beforehand because she didn't want to throw Ricky off. Okay, remember when I said in my last review video that I didn't know if the mom wasn't thinking or if she was just stupid? I think I have my answer now. On what planet? Okay, you know what? No, I'm done wasting my breath on this scene. Ricky, go get a new mom. So I was hoping that the promo was misleading and Seb wasn't freaking out about going on stage, but it turns out it wasn't misleading at all. But luckily, Carlos was there to give Seb the confidence he needed to go out and perform in front of his family. Seb, you know what you 
blessings and dance your heart out. Bop to the sky, baby. Find you a guy that believes in you the way Carlos believes in Seb. And of course, we don't get to see this performance either. I hate musicals. And the one time I actually want to see them, you don't show me whatever disney so now we get to see gina come out and talk to ricky and let me tell you the first thing that came to my mind was oh my god gina is gonna do it she's gonna be the one that convinces ricky to change his mind and go be troy just like so many of you said you guys are beyond smart come on then let's watch you guys are idiots turns out she didn't convince ricky at all she just went to watch the show with him while someone else convinces him to be troy but uh more on that in a bit so ej and nini go out to perform another scene together and it looks like nini is finally prepared to finish the show with ej until she sees ricky walk in with gina and now she's all like F this show all over again but luckily ej keeps proving that he maybe just maybe might be a better character than i originally gave him credit for because he does a little improv and steps down from being troy because he knows that he's not the guy that nini wants standing up there with her right now he's not the troy that she wants standing up there with her right now and this is when nini convinces ricky to come back and play troy with her man can you imagine how confused that this audience must be at this point over here changing Troy's and Chad's every two minutes? Like, what the hell is this? Luckily, I wasn't in that audience. I would have booed and knocked every single one of you in the head with the popcorn kernel. Now, I gotta be honest. Even though that that's not my ship out there, and it's very tempting to find a way to be petty, and trust me, I could easily do it. Everyone knows I'm the king of petty. I wear my crown very proudly. I mean, they killed it. I have eyes and they did a tremendous job with this performance. But this wasn't my favorite performance of the act. That belongs to the ending performance. We're all in this together. And this is the performance where Miss Jen finally gets to say her one line that got cut out all those years ago. Oh my god. Can we just talk about how damn sweet this is? As soon as I saw the apple, I knew what they were gonna do. And I actually totally forgot that this was another song that I did know about before watching this show. Now, I really enjoyed this, but it doesn't really matter what I think. The Dean, or the Scout, walked out mid-performance. But you know what? If she can't recognize real talent when she sees it, who needs her? Well, Rena Shepherds kind of do, but uh... More on that later. So remember when those flowers were sent last episode and nobody knew who they were for? Turns out that those flowers were for Ashlyn and they were from EJ? I didn't write that. Well, excuse me, dick. I did. Okay, if you guys stand here and- Man, I'm trying to tell y'all. If Rena and Seblos don't go anywhere in this show, this is gonna end up being my number one ship. As far as in-game ships go anyways. Because they looking really in-game right about now. I don't care what any of y'all got to say. So now it's time for the biggest scene in the episode for a lot of people. I mean, we have Nini and Ricky alone together in a room. Do I even have to say what's about to happen next? I don't, but for for the sake of the review, I will. So Ricky asks Nini what happens next, and Nini gives a very, very passive answer, which leaves Ricky there looking scared for his life. I've never seen a guy look so damn nervous around someone that he knows so well before. Almost like he's trying to find the courage to say something. I love you. Now, unfortunately, I have to skip the next 45 minutes of Ricky expressing his love for Nini, but I do want to at least show you guys the climax. Sometimes it's easier to just kiss. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so after several almost kisses, we finally get a Rini kiss in the season one for now. Nobody saw that coming. I'm shocked. I mean, how many are you guys are surprised? Huh? Not a single one of you? Hmm. 
Weird. But in all seriousness, this was a pretty nice scene. Very well acted out by both of these two. And I did smile quite a bit watching it. But I mean, I smile at everything. When I get chills all over my body, that's when you know it's real. And I didn't get any chills watching this. Still though, objectively speaking, it was a good scene. So check this out, right? There's about three to four minutes left in the show currently. And there's still three huge things that are getting ready to happen. How is that possible? Only with this show, man. So I'm gonna go over these three things really quickly here. First off, Ashley strongly hints that Gina may be able to stay with her so she won't have to move after all. Now they didn't confirm that in this episode, but it's strongly hinted at. And it turns out that the scout did like what she saw from Nini and she's offering her a spot starting next month, which means Nini has a really, really big decision to make, but more on that later. And lastly, apparently Big Red can tap dance, like really well. Why I'm just not finding this out, I don't know. But Ashlyn sees this and she has a lot of questions, as do we all, but those can wait. How is it possible for this show to have so much going on and still make it work so well? I'm at a loss for words. I gotta give everyone involved with making this show a lot of credit for that. So we got three kisses in this episode, people. Which was your favorite? So yeah, people, that was the last episode of the season. And I have to say, like I said in the beginning, it did not disappoint, objectively speaking. It did disappoint when talking about my own biases because obviously, you know, my ship wasn't looking the greatest in this episode, at least not at least not compared to the enemy. But like I said, objectively speaking, it's a pretty good episode. And we have, well, Nini has a really, really big decision to make, people. I mean, it's funny the timing of this, isn't it? I mean, they finally get back together everything is looking amazing and now she's hit with a huge decision that you know one way or the other she could be making a big mistake if she doesn't choose wisely now luckily for rena shippers luckily for us ricky is a good person he's a he's a good guy so we all know he's not gonna let Nini choose him over this opportunity. He's not gonna let her because he's stupid and he's good. He's a st stupid good kid. We can rely on that. We, we, we know that that's gonna happen, okay? I mean, if you were Ricky, what would you do? I mean, Ricky and Nini were already on break once before and what happened the last time that that happened? What happened the last time that they took a short break from their relationship? I mean, I don't know. If I was Ricky, there is no way in hell I'm letting Nene go to that school. I don't give a damn. All right. I don't care if I have to tie her up. She ain't going no goddamn where. All right. Call me selfish. I don't give a f All right. Fool me once. Shame on me. Wait, no, wait, no, wait. Fool me once, shame on you. Yeah, that's right. Fool me twice, shame on me. Okay? It's not happening. But luckily, like I said, Ricky is a better person than, than I would than I will ever be. You know, he, he he's actually a good person, so we don't have to worry about him being smart. Because he's not gonna be smart. He's gonna be good. He's gonna be good. And because and it's because of that that I have a good feeling about this. <laughs> And to be honest, I feel like as arena shipper, we might actually need this to happen in order for Gina and Ricky to have any chance at all right now. Because right now, I mean, I hate to say it, but Nini and uh, Ricky are madly in love. And uh, unless somehow some kind of wrench gets thrown into this whole thing to break this up for a while, I just don't see any other way it's gonna happen. It's gonna take something like this happening in order for Ricky's attention to maybe go elsewhere. Or 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 Nini's. I mean, hey, she it happened last time, right? But anyways, 
I, I can't wait to see what happens. Um, it's also possible that Nini just puts her foot down and says, you know, Ricky, I don't really care what you have to say. I'm staying. No, regardless of what you say, I'm staying. I'm not leaving you. I mean, that's possible too. But eh, let's hope that is. I don't know. Anyways, people though, um, so much else happened in this episode. Obviously, we 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 get to see um, Ashlyn and Big Red. They are taking off, people. They are taking off. I feel like every episode. It feels like every episode they have another big moment. So they're looking very in game right about now now obviously anything can change but they're looking they're looking pretty good right about now i mean i don't any speculation to big red possibly being gay is looking pretty not true right about now i mean i, I, I don't he looked pretty happy with that kiss so i don't i don't know i'm thinking that these two might actually uh they might have a future together but we shall see what happens with that um obviously Seblos, we finally get more of them and we get to see a kiss Man, I love seeing the way that Carlos talks to Seb, the way that he gives him confidence, the way he gives him confidence and makes him feel good about himself. Because I've, I've had partners in the past that they ain't believe in shit I did. You know, they, 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 everything, I, I mean, I have an ex that didn't even, th she thought me starting a YouTube channel was stupid. She like, well, look, Smurf, look, dude, listen, dude. I don't want to be mean, but you ain't, this ain't gonna go nowhere. This is not gonna go anywhere, okay? Nobody's gonna watch. You'll be lucky to get 10 subscribers. God damn it. But you know what? F you, X. Look at me now, damn it! But anyway, <laughs> let, me calm, let, me, let me calm down. But yeah, I'm just saying. Anyways, I love what I see from them. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident in them being in game as, as well. So I have a couple of ships to fall back on in case Rena just goes nowhere. Even though they still are my number one ship at the moment, they still are my number one ship that I want to have be in game at the moment. But I do have some backups. That I can really focus on in case, you know, Rena just disappoints going forward. So that's 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 good to know. That's good to know. Oh yes, people, Gina. How can I almost end this video without talking about Gina? Yes, of course. I most of us speculated this already. Most of us have, you know. I mean, come on. We knew either Gina wasn't gonna move, or she was gonna move and eventually come back. And it looks like, at least, it they hint. It, they made it seem like that Gina possibly might not have to move that's the way that's the way they made it look when ashlyn said that gina could stay with her for a while maybe up until christmas or something and then she was like wait wait a minute actually i have a great idea and then gina smiles so it's come, it's, come on they're 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 hinting towards something great here and i think that something great might have to be or might be gina not actually moving so hopefully hopefully that's the case and um let me see. Ricky's mom sucks. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much it. I mean, a lot happened in this episode. A lot happens in almost every episode. I haven't seen many shows that have been able to pull this off where there's like a lot going on and it doesn't feel rushed or out of order or just like chaos, you know, but this show does it pretty well. I don't know how they do it, but they do. They do it. They're doing it very well. And, um, but yeah, people, I, I feel like I'm really rambling at this point, so I'm about to just stop talking. But this is the last episode of season one, and we're on to season two, people. And season three, and four, and five, hopefully. I saw a promising Instagram post from somebody really saying, really kind of hinting towards many more seasons to come. So hopefully that's true. But anyways, people. I'm really about to get out of here because I really feel like I'm rambling at this point. But anyways, yes, let me know what you guys thought about this episode. Let me know what you guys thought about season one as a whole. And tell me your theories about season two. Tell me how excited you are about season two. Tell me everything, people. Tell me. I want to hear it all. But, um, yeah, I think, <laughs> I think I've said enough in this video. So, um... I think that I'm done talking. Finally, right? Until next time.